Good morning, good morning, good morning, everybody. Fitness Evolution with China Ray. Good morning, good morning, good morning, everyone. This is Fitness Evolution with Trainer Ray. I want to talk to you all today about everyday fitness. We talk about everyday fitness because fitness is required in your life in order to maintain and sustain a healthy lifestyle. But, man, we want to always contain and remain and hold a healthy lifestyle because a healthy lifestyle is good for all ailments, helping people stay in, in, in shape and being able to do things they would like to do within their um, daily routines. You know, it's easy to get out of a routine when uh, you don't do what you're supposed to do because you can always get stuck doing something that other than what you normally do, especially if you don't make sure that fitness is part of your routine. Some people allow other ailments or other things in their life to keep them from getting into shape. Some people allow work to keep them from getting into shape. They allow children to keep them from getting into shape. They allow clubs to keep them from getting into shape. Uh, et cetera, et cetera. The list could go on and on. So what a person has to do is they have to figure out a time of day they can get in to the gym or at home to do some some exercises. And it don't have to be nothing strenuous. And, and really and truly, you just get started. I would recommend that you try to get in at least 30 minutes a day. 30 minutes a day is not a whole bunch, but it's enough to get you started and start getting your body moving, get the fluids moving through your joints and your blood flowing real good. And 30 minutes is not hard. 30 minutes out of your day to do some kind of exercise to get in shape is always a good thing. You know, and, and and a lot of people don't realize taking that time out for yourself to do a whole lot for you throughout the day. Just like you have to take out time for yourself or that's it, you have to take out time for God throughout your day. In order in order to draw closer to God. So you want to uh, you want to uh, always do something like you, you to get closer to God. You take that time out with God every day, whether it's 10 minutes a day, 
to read your word and pray to God because it helps you get closer to God. Taking 30 minutes out of your day to get some exercise in to help your temple, your body, to get stronger. So I don't want you to ever feel that you can't do something within your life, even if you haven't done anything in a long time. Even if you're older and you feel that you can't do something, but you can. It's always, it's always something you can do in order to get yourself in some kind of shape. So, you know, it, it's, people don't understand that fitness is an important, important part of your life. So we want to make sure that we stay in some kind of shape during this fitness, during these times right now, especially now where everybody's in their homes or supposed to be in their homes or you got some places around the world people have, are still quarantined right now. They can't be out and about. You got some places that are out and about, but and the numbers are increasing. People are not taking care of themselves. People are getting sicker and sicker every day. But we want to start taking care of ourselves and getting into some kind of shape to exercise and, and enjoy life. Because you can't enjoy life. You can't enjoy life when you have no energy. When your bones are aching and creaking all day and you mess up and get ailment, get sick or something, then you have to be laid down to rest or laid down to sleep because you have to take care of yourself. But most people, you know, I've learned they tend to wait to the last minute before they try to do anything to help maintain and take care of their livelihood. Waiting to the last minute doesn't help nobody except the doctors because, you know, that's how they make their money by seeing you. So you got to be willing to want to get out and do some kind of exercise throughout the day in order to improve your way of life. Believe me that you want to improve your health for more than one reason, not just for yourself, but if you have kids, little kids, big kids, if you got grandkids, you want to be able to go outside and play with your grandkids or play in the house with your grandkids and or do different things with your grandkids or your kids or kids may be. Because if you don't have the uh, will to want to be outside or, or with your family, that's not a good thing. That's not a good thing because you should want to be outside with your family, especially your kids, because they don't want to come outside. They don't want to play. You got to be able to go out there and do things with them because you got to enjoy life with them. Because, you know, life is short. Life is short. You don't know when you're going to leave, when you're not going to be there. So you don't know when you're going to be around, how long you're going to be around, and it's good to enjoy your life while you can. So everybody should, should be some kind of everyday life. I mean, you should want to have some kind of everyday life, something to do or keep yourself moving all the time in order to uh, sustain life and fitness is one of the key elements you have to have other than just eating and sleeping and working. But, you know, exercise is the key. And like I said, if, trust me, if you take a few minutes out of your day, it will improve your livelihood a lot. Whether you do it early in the morning before you go to work, or late at night before you go to bed, uh, during your lunch hour and while you're at work, you know, take your lunch hour. Take 30 minutes. Take a 30-minute take a break. Even if you have to shorten it, if you get you something to eat, then get you a 20-minute workout. Something. Do something because it'll improve your livelihood. It'll improve your your work uh, your work day. A lot of people don't realize it'll improve your work day because they, they got some energy pumping, blood flowing through the body. Eat some of the right foods. Don't go in there and go to certain foods that's going to cause you to crash later on because if you crash, you get that what, that afternoon crash when people finish eating lunch. Everybody wants to be sluggish. Everybody wants to go to sleep, and that's not what you want to do. So you you want to start improving your, your livelihood, start exercising, because exercise is the key to a lot of things in life. 
and we want to make sure that you stay healthy. So, and, and you know, because I want to incorporate myself, exercise within the workplace, corporations, because it helps improve the work, the production of, of people. If you own a business, and just watch. If you get some people, get them into some exercises, help improve your business. Or while you're at work, help improve what you do, your performance at work. You want to always try to improve your performance at work. So always remember that life is so short that uh, you you have to always remember that life is so short that you have to uh, maintain and start taking better care of yourself because if you don't, who we are, you want to enjoy every aspect of your life, every chance you get. Because, because it's, it's always good to have a, a healthy lifestyle, to be able to eat, work out, enjoy life, spend your time out, enjoy life. And life is the biggest key. You know, exercise is very, very important. It's just like some people sustain life by taking medicine every day. But, you know, some of these medicines, it's not all you can get off of these medications if you just take a little time to exercise throughout your life, to get a little fitness in your life. It'll help take away some of the medications that you take, especially if people on high blood pressure. I, I used to train some ladies, and one lady, she was on two high blood pressure pills. She started working out with me, getting in good shape. The doctor took her off the blood pressure pill because her blood pressure became good. She had no problems. But the only issue was, when she stopped working out, I had left Texas. She stopped working out. They put her back on blood pressure medicine because her blood pressure got out of control. And that's what you want to prevent. You want to prevent your blood pressure from getting out of control. You want to prevent any ailment from getting out of control because that's your livelihood. You want to always prevent those ailments from getting out of control. You want to take care of your life at all times. And People don't understand. You know, it's not hard. It don't take long. It only takes a few minutes out of your day. It don't take but a few minutes out of your day to do a simple exercise. You can walk in place, run in place, walk the neighborhood. Uh, if you got time to go to the gym, you get on treadmill, elliptical. You can do a little few weights, whatever the case may be. You can do some things to help you get into some kind of shape. And that's what you want. You want to always get in some kind of shape and enjoy yourself because life is too short to be out here playing with your health. There's no need to be out here playing with your health. Your health is very important, maybe not just to you, but to other people. You got other people in your life that love to see you around, love to see you doing something. If you got somebody in your family that's older, get them out. Get them out to doing something. Don't let them just sit around the house. Because I know and you know that older people tend to get set in their ways. And once they get set in their ways, they get to sitting around the house, being bored to death, and you look at them and they're like, uh, you can tell they're kind of going downhill. You don't want that. I mean, I know you want to hold on to your loved one as long as you possibly can, but give them something to look forward to, whether it's exercise, whether it's getting in shape, you know, something they can look forward to doing whether you're just sitting and standing in a chair, sit down, stand up, sit down, stand up, whether it's just raising their arms to the side, to the front, whether it's curling a water bottle, I don't care if it's a water bottle, a can of vegetables, something to the body. If you see them having, you know, some people have a black leg, part of their leg turning black on their foot, that's poor circulation. Help them. Start doing things. Walk them. Massage their feet. Take them and make them move their feet certain ways to help get the blood circulate back to their body. One thing I've learned that people, all people aren't going to tell you how to fix everything that's wrong with you, you know, because a while back I was at my cousin's house and she had uh, diabetes and she had a nurse coming in to take care of her every so many days and her foot was turning black. You know, I sat there and I listened to the nurse Nurse, I'm uh, taking medicine. Uh, 
keep your feet elevated and blah, blah, blah. So, you know, me, I had to step in and I said, hey, I got a question for you. Turn it black. That's post relation right? She's like, yeah. I said, well, wouldn't it be good to have her move her feet around, exercise her feet while she got them elevated up and down, side to side, whatever case may be, to help increase the blood circulation? She saw the look on that nurse face, looked at me like, ain't no way he didn't say that to me because it's job security for them. And I understand everybody got to have a job. But still, you want your loved ones to be in good shape too, just because you want to have a job don't mean my loved ones can't be in shape, you know what I mean? So I make sure that that happens. She said, yeah, that's right. You can do exercise your feet and help with circulation. But now you want to tell her after I say something. But she looked at me as if looks could kill, boy, I'd be a dead man right now, I'm trying to tell you. You know, and it's funny because people like that aren't going to tell you everything you need to get where you want to be because they got to make sure they keep jobs secure. They're trying to keep you on. They're trying to keep you as a client. As long as they got you as a client, they got a job to go to. But I understand that, and I understand that totally to the utmost, but I'm not going to allow you to just take advantage of something when I could help with the situation. <clears throat> so so we sometimes have to step in when other people are not paying attention because or are not trying to tell you the right way to do certain things, you know. So I always try to make sure that... Uh, So, you know, I like to make sure that everybody is taken care of. So always be strong and, and, and take take control of your life and, and allow uh, yourself to have some kind of exercise within your life. So don't don't be afraid to work out, get yourself in shape. And, 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 and um uh, Always make sure that you are doing it right. Now, if you have a question about something and you're not doing it right, or you feel you're not doing it right or going to do it right, contact me. Contact me. You can contact me at 662-368-2152. Or you can hit me on my email. You can hit me on my email at fitnessevolution350 at yahoo.com. So, you know, you can always contact me to see if you're doing something right or doing it wrong because I'm always willing to help anybody that wants to do something with themselves, want to get themselves in some kind of shape. So never be afraid to ask. Even if you don't ask me, if you ask the average trainer in the gym, if you see a trainer in the gym or street on the street that you know might know a trainer, ask him. Always ask questions. If you don't ask, you're not going to ever know. I'd rather you ask me and do it, get it right than to not ask me and get it wrong. And that's going to be a bad issue for you because you're going to probably hurt yourself. And we don't want you to hurt yourself because we try to get you to live a stronger and healthier life, not a hurtful life. So people have to learn, and everybody needs to learn. Take that time out for yourself to take care of your temple. Body of your, your temple is, 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 is very important. Your, your temple is very important. And you got to maintain your temple. Keep it strong. Keep it healthy. So people understand that you to live a healthier lifestyle. And uh, you want to always try to maintain and stay functional with every aspect of your life. Stay functional with every aspect of your life. And also fitness because, like I said, take the time out for your temple, but also take the time out for God because everybody needs to take that time out in their life to spend time with God. Just sitting back praying, reading the Bible, or both. Take that time out with God. Same thing with your body. Take that time out with your body in order to improve your lifestyle. Taking that time out with God helps to improve your lifestyle. So always look at it in in two different ways. Improving my health and improving my lifestyle. Improve God can improve your health and he improves your lifestyle. God can do all things. But, you know, you have to be willing and wanting to do those things. So always be strong enough to take, make your own decisions to do what's right, to make sure that you maintain your lifestyle, a healthier lifestyle. So 
Don't be afraid to ask questions if you have a question about fitness, anything of that nature, because that's what I'm here for, me being a trainer. That's what I do. That's what I'm here for. I'm here to help you maintain your lifestyle where you stay focused within your lifestyle, steadily exercise, and, you know, living a healthier life. It's very, very important. Living a healthier life is very, 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 very important. You want to always stay focused, and you want to always be healthy because doctors love to see you in the office. But, you know, you, you got something that tell you, do some exercise, do some workout. Don't overdo it, though. But, you know, they don't tell you that, but most people still don't follow that. Even if doctor do tell you do some exercise, most people don't follow that. And then when they come in there and find out they got some kind of ailment, and the doctor say, well, you need to start doing this. Now you want to start doing something? Don't wait till the end. Don't wait till it's too late to start exercise. Don't wait till it's too late to start getting in shape. Don't wait till it's too late to start taking care of your temple because you wait too late, it's too late. I'm not saying it can't help, but still, when it's something you could have been doing all the time instead of waiting till the last minute to do it. If you can prevent it, prevent it. And that's why doctors treat you under, that's why it's called preventive medicine. Preventive medicine. They give you stuff to prevent ailments, prevent something from getting worse. So people have to understand that, or you have to understand that, life is too short to sit around and not do something with your life, not take care of your temple. So you got to always be strong and be focused and know that your temple is very important. Your health is very important. Your lifestyle is very important. And people don't uh, always agree with what you do or how you do it, but you still need to do it. So always understand that your lifestyle is very important, whether somebody else thinks so or not. Always keep yourself in some kind of shape. Always keep yourself in some kind of shape. Because it's going to always fall back on you because you're going to have to go to the doctor and answer for it. And uh, you're going to have to be the one that goes to the doctor. And the doctor will be like, what's wrong? What have you been doing? And you're going to be like, nothing. No, I ain't going to need to say nothing because you, you should have been doing something. So... Just remember, stay focused and, and do what you have to do to maintain uh, a healthy lifestyle because a healthy lifestyle is very important to you and anybody around you. People love to have you here. It may not seem like it at times because sometimes, you know, our families tend to find other things in life to keep us from gathering together, and we need to start preventing that also. We don't need to just gather around when there's a death in the family. We need to gather around when there's life in the family because death is forever. Death is final. Life is forever. So you need to get together with your family. Even if you get together at a family reunion, do a walk. Do a family walk. Take them on a walk around the neighborhood. Take them on a walk through the park, somewhere where everybody can be together and get together. You got family that live around you. Spend more time with your family. Some people spend more time with their friends or people in the street than they do their own family. They go by and say, hey, how you doing? Bounce out. Or what you got to eat? Bounce out. Spend time with your family because life is too short to be out here doing other things other than spending time with your family. Taking care of your life. Get right with God. Taking care of your health. Spend time with your family because family not always going to be here. And when they're gone, that's when people want to cry and say, I miss my family. But you didn't miss them while they were here because you didn't go see them and talk to them. Take them with you for exercise. Take them walking with you. Go walk in the park with them. Talk to your family. See what they're doing. See how they're doing. Some people got family around here doing bad and don't even know it. Why? Because they don't talk to them. Or they feel that their family not going to care for them to tell them. So show interest in your family. Show people that you, you you care. You care about your body, care about your family, care about your lifestyle. And live a healthier lifestyle. Stay in shape is the key. Stay in shape. So, you know, I'm always here if anybody got any questions or need any questions. 
or have any questions about anything, especially dealing with fitness. Always uh, be willing to uh, just get in shape. Just do something. I don't care if it's just a walk around the corner. Walk to the mailbox ten times. I don't care if it's walking up and down your driveway. I don't care if it's walk around your house. That's an adventure by itself. Some people probably know what the back of their house looks like or the side of their house looks like if they don't walk around it. Somebody else has to tell them, man, you know, your house dirty on the side. You need to power wash it. Oh, really? I ain't know. Time with your life. Take time and get yourself a healthier lifestyle. Get yourself back in shape. Stay in shape. Take care of your lifestyle. Take care of your family, your friends, your kids. Some people work so much and they don't really spend much time with their kids because they work so much, which I understand. They try to provide a roof over their head. But you can't provide that roof if you're not here. You can't provide that roof if you're not here. If you're in the hospital sick, you can't provide that roof because you're not working. That means you're not bringing money in. So take care of your life so you're able to bring or keep a roof over your head, but still at the same time, spend time with your kids, your family, your close relatives, people that you love, you know, Go see them. Take them for a walk. Do something different with them, you know. Help them to get in some kind of shape. Don't allow your family to dwindle down to nothing because most people don't care enough to even make sure that their family okay or you know, they got an illness so bad to where they have to get their legs cut off or a limb cut off or they hurt themselves. That's when you're concerned when something has happened bad to them already. Don't wait too late because your family is very important. And you shouldn't wait too late in order to get your family in shape or get yourself together with your family. Everybody can be in shape. We can have a healthier, healthier life if do something to get in shape. Exercise. Take care of yourself. Don't allow other things to control your life. You know, People allow everyday life, such as work or an environment, to keep them from being around their family or taking time to be with their kids or getting themselves into shape or taking that time out with God. It's always an excuse. Well, I just don't have time. There's not enough hours in the day. I've heard that a thousand times. And people don't realize it's just an excuse. God, you can make time to do other stuff, hang out, go to clubs, whatever the case may be, you can make time for your life. Now, this is Trainer Ray, Fitness Evolution with Trainer Ray. If you have any questions, you can email me at fitnessevolution350 at yahoo.com, or you can call me at 662-368-215. Thank you all for joining me today on the episode of Fitness Evolution with Trainer Ray, talking about everyday fitness. Y'all take care and have a wonderful day.